Hey guys, it's Walt, K4OGO. I just built the absolute easiest HF transceiver kit there is to build. It is the Micro Bitx version 6 from hfsignals.com. Uh, this video is not going to be a how to build it, how to video. You know what I like to do. I like to put things together, get them going, and, uh, and see how they work on the air. So I'm going to give a quick rundown on this, and then we're going to see if we can get on the air with it. Stick around. This Micro Bitx version 6 kit, if you buy the complete kit, it comes from hfsignals.com. About $209 plus shipping from India. Um, little secret, I got mine from Gigaparts in two days with free shipping. So if you're an American uh, in, the, in the United States and uh, you're looking to purchase this thing, check out uh, Gigaparts as well. This thing comes nicely boxed. And everything is, is together. It's basically a snap together model. If you remember when you were a kid, the models that you had to uh, paint, cut, glue, and everything, the, the, the hard skill models, well, this is like one of these when you were a kid. The uh, level one uh, snap together models, that's what this is. It's simple. The board is already, uh, all the soldering's done, the board's together. Basically what you're doing is snapping together and wiring. It's, it's a real easy kit to build. And I'd highly recommend it for anyone, especially a, a new ham, because what this thing can do, it can be modified. And I mean really modified. There's a lot of mods you can do it. So you, you could build this and get to the soldering part later when you modify and add things. There's a great group. I'll put a link in the uh, description of, of a group uh, that, that, that's got a lot of online resources for mods and, and updates and, and things. And um, it's a really cool thing to do. I put this together. I mean, it was nice. I used two part. I used needle nose pliers and a screwdriver. That was it. It was so simple to put together. Well, it's together. I've got it built. And now I'm going to cut it on for the first time and try to make a QSO with it. One of the cool things about it is it says that it's aligned and ready to go. You don't need to do any, any alignment to it. Once it's together, cut it on and go at it. If you should have an issue and need alignment, there's also a website from the builder. I'll put that in the um, link. Not just the website, a YouTube channel from the builder. I'll put a link to that in the description where he gives you complete instructions for alignment, BFO alignment, everything for this radio. Anyway, let's see if we can get on the on the air with this thing. Kilo four, give me a call again. Uh, yes, Kilo four, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Okay, Kilo four, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Okay, I got it. Uh, all right, I appreciate the call. Got, I got a couple of minutes to stay here, but uh, the uh, static crashes are getting pretty. Pretty heavy, uh, up to about a seven. Anyway, my name is Jim. I'm in Texas, uh, Central Texas, near Waco. Over. Uh, Roger, Roger. The name here is Walt, and I am in uh, southeastern Virginia on the coast here in Norfolk, Virginia. This is actually a kit radio I just built. You're my first QSO on it, so I really appreciate you uh, taking the call. Okay, well, I got some QRM, Walt. What's the uh, the new radio? Go ahead. Yeah, I just built one of these uh, micro Bitx uh, radios from India here, a little 10-watt radio. Just got it together, and you're the first QSO on it. So I really appreciate you taking the call, and uh, was wondering if you give me a good, honest uh, audio report on this thing. Okay, well, first of all, you're 5 to 5 nine, and he says 10 watts. What's the antenna, over? Uh, the antenna is just a vertical. It's a multi-band vertical. It's called the Sigma Eurocom. It's originally a uh, no radial vertical, but I've got it on top of a metal roof, a flat metal roof, so I've got a pretty good ground plane underneath it. Okay. Well, it's doing good. Now, as far as the audio, it's, uh, you know, I can understand you. I would say it's a little thin, uh, you know, pretty narrow, kind of like a DX audio, but I, I don't have any problem understanding you, over. Roger, Roger. Yeah, like I said, first cue, so I'm going to tweak it and, and uh, play around with this thing. I'm just thrilled that uh, that I'm, I'm punching through. That's good, and uh, yeah, it's really, for 10 watts, it's really, uh, you know, I hear you very well. Uh, okay, well, well, congratulations, and uh, glad to be the, the first contact on it. So, anyway, 73, uh, K4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, KB5, William. Okay, thank you so much for the Q show. I really appreciate it. 73. Okay, 73. How cool was that? Hey, uh, I'll take it. 
Hey, so there, this weekend there is a IARU International uh, HF uh, contest going on. So I'm going to get over on 20 meters now and see if by chance uh, I could luck out and maybe make a DX contact here. Let's give it a shot. Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar. Hey, Roger, Roger, you're 590808. Merci beaucoup. Well, there you go. That's it. The Micro Bidex version 6. Cool little radio. I enjoyed it. I got some bugs to probably iron out in it, but uh, that's the cool thing about building a kit. I'm going to have no gonna have no problem just tearing this thing apart now and, and, and messing around with it, especially at 200 bucks. I mean, it's uh, that's not cheap, but it's not exactly expensive either. So um, I'm going to tinker with it. I'm probably going to add a new display. There's some things I want to do to this thing, but it's going to be my... Uh, my, my play around with uh, Kit here as the, as the days come up here. I, I really look forward to uh, to doing some mods to this thing and, and having a good time with it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO73, my friends.